Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be heading out to Hobby Lobby because believe it or not, some of the pieces in my home that look the most designer and expensive are actually from Hobby Lobby and I got them for amazing prices. So you all know I like to take you through the store with me at least once per season to show you all the new things in store and then also point out the things that would really help elevate a space. So we're gonna go through the store and then come back home. I'm gonna show you everything that I found and how I style it within my home. So hopefully you're able to get some fun decorating inspiration from this video and and without further ado, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, so here we are at Hobby Lobby and for those of you unfamiliar with the pricing, everything in the store goes on sale for 50% off at some point unless the item has a yellow your price sticker on it. So basically for price reference, you can pretty much take 50% off all sticker prices that I show in this video. Now, the first thing that I spotted were these new vintage inspired planters. They have a very similar look to the brushed charcoal vase at McGee & Co for roughly $200 $50. And these aged vases are such a designer look and I have a very similar one sitting on our side table in our living room and I just love the statement that it makes. They did have two color options if black doesn't go with your space and I also spotted this pretty white one as well. All of these items do have the yellow sticker so there will not be the 50% off discount at any point but $25 to $30 for a large planter is still an amazing price. I thought these would be really pretty to use as a base for a pot of a faux tree. I tested out the look with this medium sized olive tree and I just love the rustic vibe that it gives off. They also had a ton of new vases that I spotted. I absolutely love this oversized white one. It really resembles an antique Turkish olive pot that can go for over $400. Well, this one was only $75 after the discount. I also liked this smaller distressed one next to it. This thing was huge and it was only $50 after the discount. For a large distressed base, that is an amazing deal. You could use it as floor decor in an entryway, bedroom, or office. You could also use it as a statement piece in a large dining room. I even tested it out with some ferns from the floral section to see how it would look, and it definitely resembles an old antique pot worth hundreds of dollars. They also had this black one that is a dupe for the Joshua vase at Pottery Barn. That one cost $50, while this one is only $17.50 after the discount, and the overall look is almost identical. They also had some new seagrass glass vases that are perfect for summer decorating and if you are in need of new vases I would definitely come check out Hobby Lobby because they have so many to choose from at really great prices and to fill those vases I always like to see what's available in the floral section they have so many different stems here that it can honestly be a bit overwhelming sometimes but I will show you all a couple of my favorites I love these olive stems I have these in my home and the best thing about them is that they are only four dollars a stem which is the best price I've seen for olive greenery which is very popular in design right now. I also look for subtle floral stems that have a realistic look to them. The key to finding realistic ones is to not only look at the flower but the leaves and I find that if the leaves are realistic looking then most of the stem has an authentic look as well. I also have these gorgeous blush pink flowers in my home and I love the softness they add to my console table styling. Same thing with this berry stem. I actually actually have this in the eggplant color and I just mix them in with a couple of olive stems for a more gathered look. I like mixing my florals in with greenery so that it just gives the overall arrangement a soft and subtle feel. I also love investing in statement greenery stems that are able to stand on their own because they're great to have out during any season and I think that these tall stems would look really pretty in that large distressed vase that we saw earlier too. I also love walking through the wall and table decor sections. Here is where I always find the sweetest little accents for my decor. These sections are constantly changing, so it's always fun to see what new items are being put out. I loved these rattan canisters. I noticed them right away. They would be such a pretty functional decor piece for the summer. These would look great on a kitchen countertop or in a bathroom or just styled on some shelves. I also really liked this seagrass jug, which resembles the French antique ones that can go for over $100. So this is a really great affordable option. I always try to keep my eye out for little vases to use in shelf styling. And these are some of my favorite ones. I have the smaller one on one of my shelves and I 
always get questions on it. I also spotted these little honey pots that would be such a sweet styling detail on a kitchen countertop, or maybe if you had some open shelving in your kitchen. One thing that Hobby Lobby does really well is incorporate pieces that look to be old and vintage, but are brand new and super affordable. So I love kind of scouring through the shelves to find pieces like this that can help add character to my home decor styling. And right now for the summer season, they have a bunch of wooden decor and I spotted this really pretty distress tray and it immediately reminded me of our Lazy Susan that I always get asked about. It is a home goods find, but you could get a super similar look if you just drilled a piece of swivel hardware on the bottom of this tray. That way you could just easily make one of your own for an affordable price, but still have that same distressed rustic look. I also spotted a bunch of wooden risers that would be great for elevating dish or hand soap next to a sink, or maybe organizing some items on a bedside table, or just functioning as a little catch-all tray for keys in an entryway area. They also had an entire aisle of stools and plant stands, which can be perfect for housing a little herb garden out on a patio now that it's summertime, or maybe just elevating and adding height to a small to medium sized plant, or just incorporating for purely decorative purposes. These are really great for just filling those empty corners of your home that need a little bit of extra warmth and visual interest, but you just don't know exactly what to put there. I'd always just recommend finding a little stool and popping a plant on it. You you can never go wrong with that. Next, I just took a stroll through the spring slash summer seasonal section, and here they have tons of fun items for cooking this summer. I loved this tan acid wash apron. I think this could make a really cute gift. You could also really easily personalize it with some iron-on letters if you wanted to, just something fun and simple. I also liked the look of these handled utensil crocs. I think these would be cute for holding utensils, or you could also use them as a planter as well. These napkin holders were really cute. I like the combo of the marble and the brass together. This could definitely add a high-end look to your tablescape for get-togethers this season. And I also spotted this little white berry colander that looks similar to one being sold at McGee & Co. They did have these in a bunch of different colors as well. And then lastly, I just took a stroll through the mirrors because there were some really good ones that resembled some high-end designer pieces. Everyone knows about the gorgeous Primrose mirror from Anthropology, and they have so many good dupes for this mirror for a fraction of the price so if you're needing a new mirror for your living room a bedroom a bathroom vanity whatever definitely come check out hobby lobby because they have a bunch of options all right so we're back home from the shopping trip and it's time for the haul portion of this video where i show you all the things that i bought and then how i style them within my home so the first thing that i found were these really pretty twisted candles now these are all the rage right now i see a lot of designers using them and i honestly love them so much because they just add that little extra touch of visual interest instead of just having you know a plain candlestick they have a little bit more shape and texture to them and i think even though it's a subtle difference it really does add a lot to your overall decor, whether that just be candlesticks on a console table or you're doing a whole tablescape. So what I'm gonna use these for is we just have two little vintage brass candlesticks on our fireplace mantle, and I'm just gonna put these in there. I think that'll just give it a really polished look. They had a lot of colors at Hobby Lobby with these. These were $1.99 each, so they would be really fun if you wanted to do like a themed tablescape with a certain color. I think that these are just a really fun item to kind of pick up to have on hand to use throughout your decorating. And like I said, I love that little extra touch of visual interest and texture that they would add to a space. All right, so the next thing that I found was this really pretty woven vase. Now, this reminds me a lot of the Alicia or Elisha vase from Lulu and Georgia. That vase costs $80 and I got this one for seven bucks. So I figured this was perfect to have for my summer styling. It just has that really casual, almost coastal feel to it, which I love. And this is actually going to go in our upstairs room. I'm gonna use it as shelf styling. And this is a really pretty piece to use for shelf styling because I feel like it can stand on its own and it doesn't really need a lot of greenery or florals in it. It would look gorgeous with them in it, but you don't need it. Just because of all the texture and visual interest that this vase has, it's perfect for just plopping on a shelf and using for decor. I love using organic materials in my space and seagrass is one of those materials that really helps your space to feel grounded and down to earth. So I incorporate it whenever I can and I do have a set of cups that I previously got in my springtime Hobby Lobby haul. And this kind of reminded me of that. So I wanted to incorporate it more permanently into my decor. 
All right, so the next thing that I found was this really pretty vintage inspired art piece. And this was actually shown a couple videos ago in my home decor haul. I actually bought a little easel stand from McGee & Co to help elevate this because this is one of my favorite art pieces. And I just really wanted to highlight it and have it stand out a little bit more. So the easel really helped it do that and just create a little bit more of a statement by giving it some height. And I like that this image is very calming. I try to gravitate more towards landscapes and nature and you know maybe abstract landscapes just because i feel like that really helps add a calming atmosphere to a space makes things feel very relaxing and a lot of the designers that inspire me almost always incorporate little vintagey pieces of landscape art into their spaces and i think it really does just create a very homey earthy organic atmosphere because in a way you're kind of bringing the outdoors in by bringing those landscape images inside i really like the little raised spots of paint so it looks to be like a very authentic painting by an artist but I know a lot of us don't have the budget for that right now so this is a really great alternative and this guy was 20 bucks but I got it for 50% off and it was only $10. Hobby Lobby has such a great variety of colors and styles of art pieces like this so you're hopefully almost guaranteed to find something that matches the aesthetic and color scheme of your space. All right so for all my OG subscribers you guys know that I wasn't gonna leave Hobby Lobby without an aged vessel of some sort. So I found this gorgeous distressed vase for only $8. It was $15.99, so eight bucks after discount. And I love how this really looks to be like one of those aged wood vessels or pots. Those go from anywhere from like $65 to $100. And this has a very similar overall look. I think incorporating items that look to be aged in your spaces really helps them to feel like they have character, feel like they're lived in. And that's a really important piece of design in my opinion. You guys know I talk about this in my videos all the time. So this is a really pretty piece. If you're not super into the distressed look, it's great because it's smaller. So, you know, it's not a huge statement or anything, but just those little accents here and there can really make a huge difference when you have them looking like they're worn or lived in. So what I'm going to use this for is our upstairs room. I'm just going to pop it on a little accent stool that I was lucky enough to find at Home Goods, And then I'm going to put some pretty olive stems in here for a really rustic look to kind of create that lived in organic feel. So definitely a really fun piece to keep your eye out for at Hobby Lobby if you go anytime soon. So I know I just showed these, but these are the olive stems that I'm going to put in my little vase for a little pick of three stems. It was $9.99. I got them for 50% off, so five bucks each. I ended up getting a lot of these because I figured they'd just be good to have on hand for vase filler or using in floral arrangements, things like that. $5 for something like this I thought was really good. I think that they look very authentic. I love the coloring on them. They have really realistic olives on them too. So just something to enhance the rustic look of my face. All right, so I talk about this all the time. I know we buy big vases, but sometimes small little accent vases are so overlooked. As you guys can see behind me, I use them in my shelf styling and they're just great to pop next to things like a lamp or on a stack of books. So I found this really pretty mini vase. I love the little ceramic grooves and almost like a scallop detail over here. I did talk about in my last trends video that scallop details are really big right now. So this is just a fun way to kind of incorporate that into my space. This guy was eight bucks. So I got it for $4, which I think is a really good deal. I'm just going to pop some little greenery pieces in here and use this as accent decor throughout my home. This would be really pretty on a mantle or maybe a kitchen countertop or just to accent a stack of books on a shelf, something like that. You could never go wrong with having some little mini accent vases. They're great for nightstands as well, somewhere where you just want a little pop of something, but don't have a lot of room for a full on vase. These are just so fun to have on hand. And I just love the look of this one and how it was a little bit different and unique, but still kind of just has that natural, organic, almost handmade feel to it, which I love. All right, so this next piece was one of those things where I walked by it several times. I wanted it so bad. And you know, this little voice inside me was like, you don't need it. You do not need this. Do not buy that, Jenna. But somehow I got these guys. I know you guys know when I showed you them in the shop with me portion, there's no way I was not leaving without both of them. So I was trying to decide on a color and honestly, I probably would have bought this one had I just had to pick one because I have so many things like the black one, but I just couldn't pass it up because these have the yellow your price sticker on them and they are $25.99. So the yellow your price sticker means that these items do not go on sale with the 50% off 
promotions. So that's the price you're going to pay. But I saw that online, this one was 50% off. So I screenshotted it and I took it to the counter and I said, Hey, online, this guy is on sale for 50% off. The store manager was all confused. She was like, I don't know. That has to be a mistake. I don't know why it has a your price sticker on it and it's 50% off. So somebody messed up, but I'm going to honor it because it does say it right there. So I did get this one for 50% off, which was a really, really good deal. The other one I had to pay full price on because that one for some reason wasn't listed as 50% off. Um, but you know, I figured for $13, this would just be such a pretty styling piece to have on hand, potentially even for future DIYs because I love the little grooves that it has on the side. And if you all follow Wooden Home Accents on Instagram, I've actually seen her transform some of these vases into super authentic looking aged vintage pots. So she adds handles to them and everything and they look so, so pretty. So I was really inspired by that and I figured that these would just be fun to have on hand for potentially future DIYs. But honestly, the color on them is just so great that I don't even think I need to, but I'll have them on hand just in case one day I'm feeling creative or something. So what I'm gonna use this black one for is in our entryway and I actually found this really cool piece of greenery. This guy was $39.99. I got it for 50% off, so 20 bucks, which does kind of seem like a lot for something like this. But when you think about how much it would be to buy a group of stems, it's really about the same thing. So I'm just gonna pop this in here and place it right next to a little vintage chair that we have in our entryway for some added visual interest. I feel like this is something different. I have olive stems and olive trees all over my home. So it kind of has that rustic, almost desert feel to it, which I love kind of transports me back to my Arizona days I don't know I thought that it was just something fun and I felt inspired when I walked by this at the store so I thought it'd be pretty to just incorporate it into my entryway so I see it every day when I walk through the door all right so the next thing that I found were these really pretty canisters now I feel like Hobby Lobby kind of rotates through their canisters pretty quickly so they do become almost collectors items in a way because if you don't snatch them when you see them then they are gone a couple of months later so I have a really pretty set that I used for shelf styling in our guest bath that I have not seen since I bought them so I saw these and I was kind of like do I need another set of canisters I don't know, you can never have too much functional storage. So I just figured that these were a really pretty aesthetic shelf styling or bathroom styling tool that I could use to hold things. And right now they have candy in them. So, you know, when I'm hungry or I need to sneak a little piece of chocolate, I know where they are. Does my husband know where they are? No. <laughs> I really love the kind of ceramic ribbed look of these. I think that these look very designer and expensive. This one was $23.99 and this one was $17.99 before the 50% off. So another 50% off off of that. They do have a little plastic piece, so they're airtight. And I'm just gonna use these for shelf styling. I love the gorgeous rib detail and the visual interest that that adds and the kind of texture that it layers into a shelf. So I have a little marble tray that I bought at Tuesday morning a while back and these fit in there perfectly and I'm just gonna use them. I love the height variation. And like I said, if you see a canister set that you like at Hobby Lobby, be sure to snatch them up because they do come in and out of stock very quickly. And you know, once they're gone, they're gone. So I'm excited that I got these and I think that they'll be a really pretty timeless piece that will fit into my decor for years to come. And I love how practical canisters are with the hidden storage. You can put whatever you want in them, remote, scissors, rubber bands, hair ties, whatever, things for the bathroom. There's just really so many things that you can use them for and I figured that they would be a really practical piece to have to incorporate all over my home when I wanna switch things up. All right, and some of the last things I got were these just really pretty fern type kind of greenery sprays. This one was $6.99 and this one was $7.99. So four bucks and $3.50 each, which is really great for realistic looking accent greenery in my opinion. For this one, I previously made a paper mache bowl in one of my recent DIY videos. So I'm just gonna use this to pop in there for a little touch of greenery. I feel like when you add greenery to your decor, it really just makes things almost feel like they're coming to life and like you're bringing the outdoors in. Even though this is faux, it's it's great because it's low maintenance and it does look really realistic. And when coupled with those worn aged found pieces, I feel like it looks very intentional and just like it's been sitting living in your house for years. And I don't know, I just love the look of it. And then this one, I'm just gonna pop in a little vintage vessel that I had previously DIY'd as well. And I love adding pops of greenery to my shelf styling decor. You can never have too much in my opinion, as you can see behind me. When you are dealing with shelf styling, you wanna make sure that it's balanced 
so that you don't have it all on one side or something. You kind of want to stagger it, but I think the more that you incorporate into a room, the more organic and lifelike things look, and that's really something that I go for within my spaces. So I really, really love these, and they're amazing prices, and they're great to have on hand for just switching around throughout the styling in my home, whether it be a nightstand, a shelf, a kitchen countertop, console table, whatever. Definitely just nice to have some affordable faux greenery in my collection. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my Hobby Lobby finds this season. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and you wanna see more of it. Also make sure that you are subscribed because I post new videos every week full of home decor content, full with decorating tips and styling ideas. So make sure that you are notified by hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. And I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.